ma English, in mathematics, in science. You cannot do that on the low salaries that are paid in Cambridge. John, I wish they'd pick on Larry. He's a little bigger, but uh, would you like to explain this chart here of the tax rate of the present district that sort of ties in with what you're trying to get over here about the curriculum and the cost of that? Uh, What's that big tall one I there? want to show this one first. Cambridge's millage is 65 mills to the dollar assessment. What does that mean to you? The estimated cost of the reorganized unit is 25 mills to the dollar. The uh, rural districts will make no difference one way or the other because their rate is 15 mills to the dollar. That is set by state law and they cannot be charged more than 15 mills to the dollar. Will the outlying rural districts come into Cambridge and help us pay that 65 mills to the dollar, or will they join with the reorganized school and tw pay 25 mills? I'd like to challenge uh, you, John, on that statement about the, the smallness of our school Cambridge is very strategically located relative to Des Moines names. A farmer told me, or I heard a farmer tell another man not long ago, that within 15 years, the whole area between Des Moines and Ames will be a residential section. That means that we're going to be within that expanding, expanding territory. That means that people are going to live in Cambridge and that the population is not going down, but it's going to increase. The thing that we're interested in is our boys and girls. Right. And I'm emphasizing the spirit of democracy. And we've got to have that in our business and we've got the finest places of business for any small town in the state of Iowa. Look at our stores. We've got the finest the local newspaper and our bank and all these things. And we've got a school there that all we need to do is get behind it and uh, my, our church is backing it up and increase the spirit of democracy, democracy which lies in our church and in our school and in our homes. The first of all is our homes that are being established there. We're going to be to have the children there. And the children, and if you could have heard the expression out of these boys and girls here tonight, they're for our school. The, uh, right over here, let's let Fred speak. Everybody's in a hurry here. <coughs> well, Mr. Dyer, you stated 200 students. Well, I believe in having two student-teacher relationships that I don't believe could have with 200 students. There are some here that graduated from bigger high schools that said they didn't have the relationship between the students or the teachers. And I think they should have that, and it's got to be there. There isn't any school spirit at all. Right here, Mrs. Carnes, would you? I'd like to uh, say uh, something concerning your uh, chart. I noticed that you have speech and drama. All right, in a if we reorganize, and they had a special teacher for that. Uh, Could you uh, make it real brief here? There, give me a little samples, right. you know. But uh, just the same, each one of us uh, in this school have that Thanks. chance with their plays. I hate to stop a woman, but I'm not <laughs> right, <sure. right. laughs> Well, I, <laughs> you can see in very vivid fashion here that Cambridge has got a problem. It's not alone in that problem. Everywhere you look in America, my own community, towns across America face this problem. Now, you're going to vote in a couple of minutes. You're going to give an important vote. It's going to have meaning. It's going to mean things to you and to people. But I believe before we do that, we ought to have John here sort of give a rebuttal in a second or so or something <laughs> like that to you neighbors about school reorganization. John, would you say something about school reorganization? To my mind, school reorganization is the only answer. Where, do you, where will you get your pupils? And I, as I said before, the, what is a school for? Is it for the education of our pupils? Is it for our own pleasure, we as adults, taxpayers? Is it as an asset to business? Is that the purpose of a school? Or is education? 
It has been proved over and over that the largest schools offer better, more rounded education. Larry, you still feel the same way about consolidation. I'm sorry yes. they picked on John. He's much littler. <laughs> Get somebody I, uh, like you. I feel that they're striking right at the roots of our American democracy by this uh, reorganization plan. I don't feel that uh, a large unit is going to solve our problem. Our whole American democracy was founded on small units. And by doing that, they're trying to take the roots out of us. They're trying to give us uh, taxation without representation. Large area, a few school board members. In the state of Iowa, we now have more school board members and school teachers. And we won't have that with reorganization. Another thing, Larry, I was talking to little Roland Dean back there a minute ago, and he says, what's this reorganization? He says, or consolidation. He says, does it mean we can, he went like this, he says, does it mean we can stay in Cambridge? Oh, boy, I hope so. <laughs> I, I think we uh, have to consider the children, definitely, and, and we have a little community it, pride. Now, now, in a democracy, we have to put an issue up and look at it, look at it intelligently. Then we've got to vote. We've got to do something about it. The whole town's been talking. Now the whole town's got to vote. And we hope that people back home will take hold of this issue in a democratic fashion and do things about it. Now, on your desk, you have a little button. And you push that, and you vote up here. Now, if you put your hand over the button, you can have a secret ballot. Will you do that? Now, I'm going to watch the time here. Remember, you have state put, pay tuition, consolidate, or reorganize. Now, I'm going to get ready here, and I'm going to time time you and you hold your vote are you ready set go vote are you holding it down now vote and hold it down that's five seconds ten seconds fifteen seconds there it is now what have we got somebody help me here about three or stay put none of you want to pay the tuition and how many of you one two three four five six seven is that right and we got down here two, haven't we? We've got two, three, seven, two. Is that right? Ten, twelve. Now, you've changed your minds a little bit, haven't you? Yes. We got two people that want to organize. Now, in your secret ballot before, you had it this way. In your discussion this afternoon, there were three of you wanted to stay put. None of you paid tuition. Eight of you wanted to consolidate. And one run to reorganize. You've changed your mind. Now you want to reorganize. That's a healthy thing. And I think the thing you see that we need to see all across America is that communities alone can't settle their problems. Cambridge isn't going to settle its problem alone. It needs the other towns around it. Now the thing you've demonstrated is that you can crystallize and bring together the solution of this problem in a democratic fashion. It's the democratic processes of facing decisions, making them, knowing that you might have to change them later on. You've been a great group, a good congregation. You all sit down front, and it's been fun. Go ahead, Eldora, Iowa. This is Eldora, population 3,100. Eldora is the seat of Hardin County, Iowa. In Eldora, the whole town's talking. People are saying, why isn't there a county-wide plan for school district reorganization? If we're going to do something about our schools, we have to start with a Hardin County plan. Next Thursday night, January 10th, 1952, to Eldora, seat of Hardin County, comes television to catch the face and voice of America itself. WOI-TV has presented The Whole Town's Talking, an Iowa State College production for the Fund for Adult Education. Does your town have a problem? Write to WOI-TV Ames, Iowa. Television may come to your town to catch the face and voice of America itself. <laughs>